So I created this first screen so that it's loading. Mm -hmm. Then screen where you tell users before they start filling the forms, what is that they can expect if they go ahead. Some instructions, then get started. If you are using a scroll indicator, then the information should scroll. It should come from the left. Yeah, yeah. I, it's a prototype mistake. Mm. Mm. Then this is the form. You have to decrease the smart animate timing on click. Okay. It's above 600 or something. It's too slow. I think it's around 400. Okay. Probably on relay, it is looking like a, a little too high. Just decrease it. Yeah. You've basically done a variant variants, right? Yeah. Got it. Oh, hmm. this. Okay. Uh, prototype. Oh, oh my God. This is not scalable. Nah. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, you practiced it that way. It is fine. It's okay. Good. As long yeah. as the story is being told properly. Oh, this is fine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you, any change, you'll have to change all those things. That, that's the only problem. Mm -hmm. And you can't reuse them. Yeah. Maybe that's why when I changed the names, it was not working fine. So when I click on option one, it should just say option one here instead of employment status. You 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 can't. You have to do it sequentially only. Okay, okay. If you want it to happen like that, then you'll have to take that variants, build multiple variants of filled and not filled, attach mm. of them, and then it comes and sits here. Or now what you do is you define all marital status option one, option two, option three, all of them as text properties. Yeah. You come and use this here. Change all the text property values in the comp in the instance. For a different instance, change the text property values again. Okay. Because both the instances have different text property values. Both of them will work similarly, but will show the respective texts. Mm, yeah. Understood, no? Yeah. And then this I have a slider for selecting yeah. and yeah, good, 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 good. So this how many states did you define for the slider to happen for it to work? On drag. On drag, how many states did you give? Three? Three states. Three states. Got it. Makes sense. Huh. Yeah. First, this information is mandatory, so they can't skip this information. It's the basic information. Name, status, gender, marital status, employment, annual income. So this is mandatory. So I have not given skip option here. And then when they click on next, they go to next screen. It will ask all these details here. If they click on yes, then there are two more fields. If no, then it's the same form. And then again, drop downs. And if they click on skip, this is a pop-up key. Are you sure you want to skip? If you skip, you will not be able to get personalized health plans. So don't skip and then continue. This is a dark pattern. I explain it later. But this is now being called as a dark pattern. You have to inform people, not prevent people from taking actions. You have to inform them the danger of the action in a different manner. You won't be able to personalize your health plans. Is But you have to think a little bit more. Okay, It should not feel like we don't allow them to skip by threatening them or something like that. But anyway, it's okay. Leave it for now. Next. Like only the text change, the content can make right. different. content and sometimes the hierarchy of the buttons also don't skip is like bigger, continuous, smaller. So uh, by the way, it should not be continue. It should be skip or don't skip. Continue means what? Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It is more like it's direct. Yeah. So mm. then next. And since also I have given these buttons. Like every time you click on plus, what did you do? That's the same component. You have just added multiple variants to it. That's it. It does like this. Got it. Makes sense. Using variables can make that easier, but yeah, don't get there right now. You'll put conditional prototyping and say, uh, if you if you know code, you'll understand. Like on click of a 
of that button, then let's say you attach a variable called 400. In 400, let's say grams or something like that, or weight of something, and say click update the variable weight with an addition of 100 grams, like addition of 100. Hmm. And then again, they set same again. I need to fix fix these downs. You know, only if you have to, right? In your story, are you telling that? You don't have to present all the examples, right? In your story, if you are pitching it to me, let's say you have two minutes time. Will you show all the drop downs? You don't, right? But for this case, like the end goal is to get personalized help plans. So I then have fill to... the entire page. No, the moment you come here, fill the entire page. You have okay. shown how a user is going to fill up information in one or two pages. Just fill everything and keep it. Okay. So just show one, how one drop down works and then let. Yeah. Go to filling everything over. No. Yeah. Prototype. Always have that mind. This is a prototype. This is a working example of a real thing. It's not real. Yeah. Then you will drastically reduce the amount of time you are putting on building a prototype. Or else all this, if you make to, to fix every drop down, imagine the amount of time it will take. Yeah. Yeah. And let's say I give some UI feedback, then what? You... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Done. <clears throat> It says your list of personal plans. Awesome. See plans. You can see. Uh, you didn't have to build this, but it is fine. It was already there in the existing. I just had to change the content. Got it. Got it. You've taken a good kit, I should say. So. I had it. a question. Adish, can you please open the prototype once? Which screen? Any screen. Any screen with CTA. Huh. Uh, my question, as the device changes, do the buttons also get more modified with their radius? Like right now, we have this device and there is a certain radius of the corners. But like if th that changes, does the button automatically get changed in our phones or? Too much you're thinking. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> For a different device, I mean, this this device, can you go to the prototype mode? Yeah. So not here. Don't click anywhere. Show prototype settings. Click on show prototype settings. Yeah. This is where, so you are using Android large as a device, right? So if you change it, you can change it from Android large to some, something else, right? Yeah. This is also coming with this coming with a square. Yeah, the, at least the screen is coming with uh, square edges. Sorry, with zero corner radius the screen. If you see here, no, it's okay. It's okay. Adash, you can go back. Yeah. You can put iPhone eight. Yeah, see the screen doesn't have corner radius, right? Your prototype screen doesn't have corner radius. The button next button is still rounded, right? Because that's what you have decided. Yeah. Now, if you Make it a square for square edged phones and round it for rounded edge phones. It's not scalable. <laughs> That's why the answer is yeah. Uh, okay. And by the way, this is not what responsiveness means. Okay. So I misunderstood. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Adarsh. Yes. Thank you. Done a decent job.